AI. I'm going to show you four different examples. These are images I took off the internet. They're stock images. I'm going to link them in the description below in case you want to download them and try this out for yourself. Uh, I think you're going to be pretty happy with the results I'm getting here. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here's our first image and it's a really nice image and but I thought it could use a little bit of life in it so I went ahead and duplicated the background layer so we can work non-destructively. Let's go ahead to filter and go to Topaz Labs, Labs and I'll uh, launch Topaz Adjust AI. And this is a really cool uh, piece of software because in here this is the power of it right up here the Auto Adjust AI Standard or HDR and they're both really great. I'll show you them both. But then you have all these adjustments here. So you can adjust the brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows, white and black point, which is really nice. You also have temperature and tint saturation. You have clarity, which is dealing with contrasts of micro, low, medium, and high. You also have details that are broken down into small, medium, and large. You have a sharpen here. You have a reduce artifacts. You even have split toning. So you can get really creative with this piece of software. And you can even add grain if you want to. You can add color grain or just normal uh, like luminance grain which they call it gray so let's go back up to the top now let's click on standard first and see what kind of results we get but this is the power of adjust AI this these two adjustments standard or HDR but there you go right there let's click on split here so we can see the before and after of the split screen so here's our before and here's our after so that's standard that's pretty nice I like it now let's click on HDR style and see what kind of result we get here. Boy, that's really cool. Might be a little too saturated, but all I have to do is come here to the saturation. And let me just ease that off just a little bit. I don't want to go back too far, but just a little bit. I love the color in the mountain here. It's really, really pretty. And this color back in here is nice. And I like it. So let's play around now with the uh, clarity a little bit. Let's give it a little bit of micro clarity. And this is nice because check this mountain out here. We're bringing a little bit of detail out up in this mountain up here, which is really nice. Sky's still looking nice. And let's try the low. Let's bring up the low a little bit. Don't want to go too crazy here, but just a little bit. And medium. Let's see what we got here. I always like to go a little too far and then just ease off to where it looks about right. Something like that. Now let's try the high. If I pull the high, watch her dress when I start to pull the high up. See how it starts to lose a little bit of detail in there? So I'm going to pull it to the left and watch what happens. That detail will start coming back in. So you got to watch that. you got to watch these controls here. I might even pull this back a little bit left of center. But look at the detail in that dress. That looks really nice. And then I could come down here and play around more with some detail and things like that. But I think that looks pretty good. Let's look at the before. There's the before and there's the after. Pretty nice effect. Uh, result here I think and now let's click apply and that'll bring us back into Photoshop and in Photoshop here if I felt I went too far I could take this opacity and start to ease off in that a little bit if I wanted to and just mix that in but I actually like this up the full way I might just you know ease it off slightly but let's look here here's the before and here's the after so adjust AI that's our first image on to our second image Here's our second image, an old shack in a field. Who doesn't like an old shack in a field? This sky looks really nice back here. I think we can coax a lot of nice color out of here. This might look nice in an HDR style look with uh, Adjust AI. And the thing I like about their HDR style, it's not like that over the top HDR because I'm not a big fan of HDR. But this to me doesn't look HDR. -ish. It just pulls out a lot of nice color and detail. So let's give this a try. So let's come up to filter and we're going to launch uh, Adjust AI again. And it loads up really quick. So here's our image. Let's start out with standard and see what we get. So I'm clicking on standard. This is all real time. How long it takes to process is exactly the amount of time you see here. Let's click our split screen again. I like this. So let me just drag it to the right. There's our before. And here's our after. Nice results right there. Again, there's a before and after. It just looks like it just came to life. It's almost like a standard definition to high definition. Now let's try the HDR style because I think it's going to look really nice. We'll see what kind of results we get here. 
pretty cool i like what's happening down here in the field the greens and the oranges down here are really beautiful the sky looks a little too blue for me but i'll show you how i would take care of that i'm not even going to touch the saturation because i think it looks okay i might take the temperature and just bump it to the right a little bit just to see warm it up a little bit because i think it'll help it'll help these colors in the field here a little bit yeah just maybe slightly warmer i think that looks good i'm still going to be able to take care of this blue in another piece of uh, topaz software topaz studio 2 i'll show you that in a second and do i want to bring up the clarity let's try the micro first Okay, I can bring a little bit of detail out of that sky up there. I don't want to go too crazy because it looks soft and I want to keep it looking soft, but just a little bit. Let's try a little bit of low here. Maybe just a little bit of low and medium's probably good right where it is. Yeah, I'm just going to leave medium right where it is and I'm not going to touch, not going to touch the uh, high. And I think it looks, looks great. Let me try a little bit of small detail. Yeah, just a little bit. Just sharpens up that barn a little bit there. And how about a little medium detail? Let's go a little too far just to see what it does. And it's affecting the sky too. But I'm, it's not too bad. I'm going to pull it back. I'm just going to add a little bit of that in there. Looks pretty good right there. Now let's take this uh, split screen and wipe it across here. Here's our before and here's our after. Pretty amazing dramatic results. Let's go ahead and click apply. And I'll show you how I'm going to take care of that blue sky. Very simple fix here. I'm just going to duplicate this layer, Command or Control J, depending if you're on a Mac or PC. And let's go to Filter, uh, Topaz Studio 2. Let's go up to Add Filter and click that. We'll open that up. And I want to go to one of my favorite uh, color adjustment filters. And this is uh, HSL Color Tuning. So I'm going to click it and open it up. And it breaks the colors down into different groups here, like uh, reds, oranges, yellows, and so on, greens, aqua, blue, purple, magenta, and gray. But we're going to choose blue right here. And notice when I hover over blue, you'll see these lines on the uh, image right there. It lets you know where the blue colors are. I'll zoom into that so you can see it. Now I'm just going to click on the blue swatch here, and then take my blue saturation and just ease back on that. Now it's targeting only that blue color right there. So I just want to ease that back just a little bit. I don't want to take it back the whole way, but right there I think looks really nice. And I'll just click Accept, and that brings us back into Photoshop. And let's click the eye. So here's the before, and here's the after. Beautiful results. On to the next image. This is kind of a nice image, but it's kind of faded out, and there's a lot of color in here. And I bet you Adjust AI can... Do some magical things with this so let's find out let's go to filter and um, topaz labs adjust ai and we launch it and see what we can do here let's start out with standard see what kind of results we get there's standard and again let's take up our split and show you the before and the after so pretty nice now right here I could just take the exposure and maybe pull that exposure back, but look at that. It's looking good. But I'm going to try that HDR, so let me double-click exposure and reset that. Let me try HDR style and see what happens, because I have a hunch. I'm really starting to love this HDR style. <laughs> look at that. That is pretty cool. So I really like that. Okay, so here is the before, and here's the after. Doing really great stuff. I love what it did to the sky up here. I still may take the exposure and pull that back somewhat. Maybe a decent amount. Maybe right around there. Now, I think I will play with the uh, micro a little bit here. That's too much. Maybe somewhere right around there. I like what's happened to the mountain back here. Let's try a little bit of low. Yeah, a little bit of low in there. Or a lot of low, actually. Somewhere right around there, I think looks really good. And let's try a little bit of medium. Yeah, I like medium in there too. This, the image can take it actually. I think this can even take high. Notice the shadows under the eaves here. Really good. That looks good. And I'll just ease it back a little bit. Now let's take this uh, bar and drag it across. There's our before. <laughs> and here's our after. Pretty great results. 
and let's just play with the small detail a little bit yeah we can bring up a little bit of small detail look at that mountain back there it might be too much actually you know I'd rather err on the side of a little not as not too much rather than too much let's try a little bit of medium and generally these kind of adjustments I'm using in like Topaz Studio 2 because all these adjustments are found in Topaz Studio 2 but it's nice that they're right in here as well but I would just do minor tweaks here and save Topaz Studio 2 to add you know like more localized uh, adjustments with the clarity and the detail through layer masking and things like that but that looks good let's go ahead and click apply I'm happy with that result let's click the eyeball here's the before and there's the after on to the next image we're on our last image the fun is coming to an end I've had a really good time with these adjust AI images they're really coming out really nice and I'm really a enjoying Topaz Adjust AI. So let's come up here to Filter one last time and click uh, Topaz Labs, Topaz Adjust AI. And we'll launch this and let's click on Standard and see what we get. And will we be happy? Oh, that looks really, really nice. What happens if I give it a little bit of saturation? Yeah, just there. We're getting that little bit of lavender coming out in there. That looks really nice. I love this. There's a little bit of vignetting here, but that's in the image right here. It's not too bad here. Let's uh, reset the saturation. Let's uh, look at HDR style. That may enhance that a little too much for us. Yeah, it's a little darker up in there, but I do love the color in here. That looks really pretty. But I can get really close to that with the standard. So on this one, I think I'm going to go standard. And uh, let me try pulling the exposure back a little bit. Yeah, I think I might pull the exposure back just slightly. And let's give it a little bit of saturation. Just a little bit. Yeah, right around in there. Now let's click the split screen. And here is the before and here is the after. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. I'm going to click apply. Bring us right back into Photoshop. Let's click the eye here. Here is the before and here is the after. Topaz Adjust AI, a pretty great piece of software in my humble opinion. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing uh, Topaz Adjust AI at work today. It's a really great piece of software. Hey, if you liked this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. 